it's like that kid could stick with it and like fall in yeah. love and do something with it. Like, yeah, he was definitely yeah. like, I I seen it right in his eyes. I was like, damn, I remember that. Like when I was little, you just look at skating and you you're just like, this is the best awesome it's thing. The best thing ever. And then yeah. you find out you could turn pro, which is like. What I could do something I love and actually yeah. make money and like not go yeah. work some shitty job or even if you have to work some shitty job you can still, still do skate, it. Yeah. Even not turning pro, dude. Like, dude, I was up on the fucking rolling today. James Craig was standing right next to me waiting to roll in, dude. And I'm like, oh my god, James Craig. <laughs> like, James Craig. That's said, the biggest like, frightening all over the period. <laughs> like, do I do I go? Or do it? No. Like, go ahead, James. No, it's all you. It's all you. It's all you. Like, no, I'm not going. Like, yeah. no, go ahead. I'm not sneaking <laughs> anyway. I wait. I wait till everyone stands there and waits, and then I just push off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not stepping in front of no one. Those dudes yeah. that I've been watching yeah. since, like... I still do that. Like, even yeah. though I'm part of the contest. It's hard not to be an awesome it's hard, Yeah, it's sometimes I'm just like, go ahead. No, nah, man, you got it. I'm like, you just said my name, just go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Like, that's more than enough. Just yeah. get it. You know what I mean? Exactly, or, when, or even when you meet someone for the first time, for us, they're like... Like, what up, Anthony? What up, Manny? And you're like, oh, shit, he just said my name. Yeah, like, you know what? Because yeah, yeah, you don't even realize they pay attention to skating yeah. as much as you do. Yeah, yeah, so like, oh, they're nerds, too. Shit. Definitely. <laughs> I guess I've been on Swerve. Susky and fucking Swerve. Nesser. And I've been on teams with those dudes, and I'm yeah. still like, dude, it's Susky. Yeah, dude, Susky came up to me. He's like, what's up, Ramsey? I'm like, damn, he knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Damn. What's up? I'm just like, cool. Yo, what's up? How you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, was, what's your name again? Sus, Susky? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it was dope to see him on the course today. I haven't seen him in a while. Dude, that dude. One, one of a kind it, ripper, dude. dude. Original. Kills it. Yeah. Kills no one skates it. like that. Kills cool. It. Um, all right, back to some questions. Enough fan and out. You got a question? Um, yeah, I got one right here. Um, let me just... Oh, okay. The Kevin D wants to know, will you ever fill in that missing tooth with a gold one? Uh, <laughs> what's funny is when I knocked it out... Uh, I was gonna do a silver one because I'm not much of a gold guy. I wear silver, but uh, so nah, man. There's no need. How there's, did you knock it out? There, there's no need to replace. Let it. Let everyone know how you knocked it out. That he was, pissed me off one day. And yeah, oh, one time I was licking a girl's toe and no, <laughs> <laughs> got too freaky. Yeah, Kicked him in the mouth. <laughs> nah, I was uh, skating a da- uh, Costa Mesa Dam Am and I was uh, during practice. And I was just practicing three shove nose blunts in the, during the day on the A frame. You know, I would do one every like five or six. So I was trying to get it more consistent. So just in case, I was, for some reason, I laid on my tricks. So I was like, I'm going for a three shove nose blunt. Hell yeah, that was the and end then, one. Yeah, and I had a couple down. And then, uh, you know, it's like, hey, one more before I go. And it was that one that just took me out. I got, I went to, I just went to jump off the rail like normal, like bailing. And my, my toe, the rubber on my toe, my foot got stuck on the rail when I went to jump. And it, like, when I went to jump, it pulled me back, but my body was going forward, so it slingshotted my body straight forward, and I couldn't put my hands down because I got stuck like this from the momentum. Yeah. Like, no matter how strong you think you are, once the momentum brings you one way, you can't. And I went from the rail, which is, like, you know, three feet high because it was an A-frame, and I went straight tooth first to the ground. Damn. And then uh, I was like, it's been my biggest fear to smash my face. was boom, and I saw exactly where my tooth went. But then I like as I got up, I was so lightheaded and I, my whole mouth was numb and I thought I broke all my teeth. Yeah. So I was already like freaking mentally out a like bit freaking yeah. Out. So I sat down on the curb for like not even two minutes, and I just kind of recap what happened. I got so mad, so I kept skating. I went back and kept trying. Fuck At yeah, that dude. time, there was a bunch of people on the course, and I just started to get annoyed after trying like four or five. And then I was I was bidding out blood. I cut my lip, and I was like, "Fuck it!" So I went over, and I remember where my tooth was. I picked it up, and it was only <laughs> half my tooth. And I just put it in my pocket. And me and Felix just went to CVS to get some super glue. Yeah. Wait, and you glued it in? I wanted to glue it in because the people said you could do that. And then I was like, "No, I'm gonna wait it out." And then, you know, Felix is like, "Oh, it's the best thing ever that could happen for you." No, you know, it's funny. And Negative oh to God. positive, baby. Yeah, you know, that's what he does. <laughs> So he uh, flip it. <laughs> yeah, he flipped it, and I was like, you know what, whatever. And then uh, three months later, uh, I was I had a bad habit of playing. Your arm it. fell off. It's a good thing, though. Yeah. You can work with this. You're not gonna <laughs> juggle anymore. But <laughs> sorry, uh, no, it's all right. Trust me, yes. Yeah. I've done this many times. And Dude, Felix is laughing in the back. <laughs> I had a bad habit of playing with it because it was like a new thing going on in my mouth. So yeah. I would like play with it with my tongue. I would try to scratch it with my fingernail. And I had maybe not even a centimeter that was holding my tooth together of tooth. Yeah. Because your tooth opens up and it splits up like that, like a triangle, yeah. like where your root comes down. And then uh, from playing with it one day, I, I just heard a noise like, 
And I was like, what the hell? And I broke it in half this way. Hey. So now I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? It didn't hurt. It was kind of cool and it was fun to play with. Because now when I went like this, it would just open up. I got one in the bag. Yeah. The same thing right Yeah. <laughs> so one day I just woke like uh, three, three months later, I woke up and like my face was a little swollen. Then, oh, you told me that. You're like, dude, you had to fix Thursday it. Thursday, it was like a little too more swollen. And then Friday was a little more. By Friday, I looked like the like the Grinch. Like uh, it was so swollen. Yeah, I looked like that <laughs> exactly. I look like this, <laughs> like that. And I was like, man, because it started to go up the side of my nostril. And then Friday, at that Scary, day, I woke man. up That's in the sketchy. worst pain of my life. And then I was in bed till Monday. Like literally, in the I would wake up in tears, not knowing I'd wake up in the worst. It would take me seriously twenty minutes to get from my bed to the other end of Felix's loft to go to the bathroom. And then 20 minutes back, and then I had to go to the hospital, and you must they have gave me nothing. Head. And then they, I called a, a dentist I knew, he's not saying any names, and he subscribed me to uh, to Vicodin. And I've never taken high drugs like that, no kind of pain medication. So I was taking two Vicodins every two hours. So Jesus. That's how much pain I was in until Monday. Then And then Sunday I couldn't deal with the pain because every I would go to sleep, wake up, oh my God, medicine, sleep, wake up every two hours. Like, no, I, I I so so much that. pain that it only lasts two hours. And then Sunday it was so bad. My eye got swollen shut, black and blues. Crazy. Scary, dude. You could have yeah, died. Dude. Yeah, it's because the sketchy. infection. No, what happened, people were calling me like, yo, you better go to the hospital. You could die. Like, don't be an idiot. Because the infection can grow It can grow so high up. And it's, it's going straight brain. to your brain. You could die. Yeah. So come um, Sunday, I couldn't deal with the pain. I could not. The Viking was not working. My, but my face was just crazy. I went to the emergency room and it was like, there's nothing we could do. They gave me two shots of Vicodin in my ass, sent me back home. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, please do something, like rip it out. Like, hell, we hell, can't. Yeah. Nothing. Monday I went to the dentist. Because they're not it. dentists, huh? They don't know. Yeah. They don't so know I went to the, to the dentist and he pulled it out and it was the best feeling in my life. Did anything come out? Like, oh yeah, pus I, had a mu- I had a mouthful of pus. <laughs> he had, yeah, he had, a, he had to vacuum it out. He's like, don't, <laughs> he's like, don't swallow or taste when this, because once he pulled it, it all rushed out. Oh, uh, man, then, that's but a I, it, But it felt like my face got, like, deflated. Like, relieved pressure instantly? Yeah. Fuck, man. And then, yeah, and then three days later, I filmed my Welcome to the Ammo commercial, and boom. Damn, today. I'm glad you're all right. <laughs> yeah, and don't go do that again. And ever. that's why I didn't fix it, because I never want to go through all that pain ever again. Yeah. So I will never fix my tooth, and if I do anything, I will get, a, like, a retainer with a tooth on it, and yes, it will be silver. I got to do that. Yeah, that'd be tight though a nice little silver ping yeah you know what I'm saying yeah hell yeah um yeah cause I, I my tooth just recently the the filling fell out and it was bothering me and shit and I just kept sucking on it and eventually I just sucked the root out like I was like spit it out I was like what the fuck is that and then I realized I sucked the root out and they told me like like yeah it's a dead tooth like we can we'll pull it out and we'll give you a little retainer thing and fucking you have know, a fake tooth and like, is it far back it's like right here. Yeah, so you don't want to fake tooth back there. I was like, it, they're like, it. yeah, they were like, we can put a little tooth there just so it'll save the space. So if you ever want to get another one, I you just worry about spacing because if that pulls out, then I'm like, might get crazy spacing. Nah, but yeah, it's way too late I, in the game to get some spacing. Yeah, there. maybe so. But yeah, I don't know. It doesn't hurt, and that's what she was like amazed. She was like, it doesn't hurt. I'm like, oh, nothing hurts. Yeah, like, we skateboard, so yeah. it's like this is minor. The average yeah. person might be hurting, but yeah, we go through a lot. Of pain. I got a question from uh. Pac-Man, Pat Lana, shout out. Oh, what up, Pat Lana? What up, homie? Yeah. Fuck yeah, he's uh, he says uh, keep growing the hair. From the first question, skate life, little uh, all I need writer. He said, uh, do you yeah. ever think about cutting your hair? I think about cutting my hair every time I skate because yeah. it get it hot, sweaty, bothered, but I just well, I, I can't. No. I don't know why. I made a bet. Uh, it's been a little over. Year, yeah, it's been like almost two years with uh, Tori, Paul Will, and then our, our other homie Pete, and then whoever cut our hair first, or the other, like everyone, a hundred bucks, which they both stole me a hundred bucks, and they stole me. Oh, they both. <laughs> and I think that's why Tori hooked it up with the Pro MSA Grizzly Grips on here. Sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so thanks, Tori. Good looks. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm, up not, up. I'm not gonna cut it anytime soon. Good, dude. Damn, what's your limit? What do you it's think? It's my Dom nipples. Pierre? Fuck yeah, dude. How are yeah, you Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. How yeah, dude? Damn, That's dude. what I said with my beard, dude. I'm going down to the belly button, dude. Damn. Fuck yeah, dude. But uh, Pac-Man, he says, uh, keep the head grown. Yeah, thanks, Pac-Man. I'm and he says, uh, 
come shred the uh, New Bedford April 28th at the DIY spot. They're having a little fundraiser. Oh, uh, that's right. If you're around, if you're in Massachusetts. If I'm on the East Coast, I'll try yeah. to make it. But I think yeah, at that really time, should. I'm going to be in Brazil. For, uh, uh, well, so yeah, don't miss out on Brazil. Yeah, Pat Lana, sorry. sorry he's gonna be in Le- he's going to be in Brazil. but yeah. um, We got a question here from uh, No Problemo in New Bedford, Taqueria. Awesome spot. Um, they want to know what the hardest flip trick to handrail trick he had ever done. So uh, flip into a handrail, what's the hardest one you've ever done? Because you do a lot. You got them all. You got them all, man. Deep bag, uh, deep bag. Even I, back in the day, like. Yeah, as of right now, uh, I don't know. This has been a couple. The like, I don't know. Maybe Inward Hill Lip was the most awkward one. I just had that a diamond. That was recently. Ad. Yeah, I yeah. just had a diamond at Inward That's Hill crazy. Lip. That's crazy. Because it, it, was all, it was difficult because it's like you're doing... You're crossing your feet so weird, and you're above the handrail, almost in air walk foot position. So it's like kind of sketchy. Yeah. So you have to do like a air walk body burial. You know what I'm Get saying? Get in there. Yeah. That or oh, that would suck if you're like crossed up and on the rail. That's what I'm saying. And probably that or uh, f- uh, maybe I don't know, maybe fakey three shove front board, like fakey impossible. Oh yeah, that's that it. one's a tough one. Or See, you know what, barrel heel backsmith was definitely. Yeah, that ones. was sick. Because it's awkward because you got to do like a negative barrel heel. Yeah, Speaking of barrel heels, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got a question from Chad P21. He says, three shoves or barrel heel flips? What do you like? What's your preference? Both. That's why I do yeah. it so much. Yeah. I don't have a... There's days where I don't want a barrel heel and there's days where I don't want three shoves. But That's just your shit you go yeah, to. Yeah, those are my... Yeah, those are my like... I just like the way they look and... Yeah, man, they're both sick. I try to... Do them to whatever I can. So yeah, both. I I can't. I can't. It's like a. It's like picking like. I don't know, like fruit punch and pineapple. I think very like I can't. They're both so good, you know. Like just no picking. Obviously, I pick pineapple. Like, do you like titties or ass better? Uh, uh, fuck, I don't know, dude. They're both awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm an ass man. Yeah, ass man all the way. Asshole, ass. maybe. <laughs> I'll take the ass. Over titties any day. <laughs> any day. Oh, um, <laughs> Keep the Peace 401 just wrote, what's the secret? Uh, I don't to know. To always be happy and don't do stuff you don't want to do and to realize that nothing's nothing's ever given its earned. Nice. Take, it's take it. Take yeah. <laughs> it. <laughs> or take it. Yeah. Earn, uh, take it. Be here, vegetarian. I'll be right back. You got questions? Manny's got questions yeah, on his phone. Yeah, yeah, P? No, my girl. She called me twice now. Oh, Gotta make geez. sure the family's good. Alright. All right. Well, Ramsey's got it. He's a yeah, professional. Yeah, yeah. Professional. We're taking over the show. We're taking it over. This is the MSA. This is All the, I Need show. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Let's get into my questions here. What do we got? What like, do you, we got uh, Billy Rent. Really oh, Runt. What's my favorite trick? Go ahead. Shout them out. My favorite trick. I have many favorite tricks. But uh, being able to... Ollie is probably my favorite trick. All right, so what's your favorite trick like on a rail? Uh, front shove board, definitely. Good one. Damn, good front shove board? Yeah. Oh, like a big spin? How about, how about, yeah, how yeah, about yeah, just yeah, down too. a set? Uh, oh, man, favorite man. trick? No, uh, right now, probably like nollie heel or nollie flip. Dude, I yeah, I like nollie heels. Clean, crisp nollie flip. Yeah, you get a good pop, good flick. I think cool. nollie heels are just the shit, dude. Yeah. On, on, tr- on uh, transition? If I could have any one of Dave's tricks. Oh my, my god, get out of here, dude. He's, he's, he's filming a part. It's coming out on the barracks with OC ramps. And he has taken... If you thought he took mini ramp skating to he's another level, crazy, he has dude. now stepped it up into a whole nother bracket of mini ramp he's skating. getting day one, like, Chinese getting in there. Beyond. Speaking and of Dave, and he's, ta- he's the, taking uh, lead skating into mini ramp. Damn, if that can tell you anything, that tells you everything. When's that dropping? Uh, a little before salt and pepper. That's which what I was is right ask. before summertime. All right, there we go. A month or two, yeah. Answer my question. Yeah, salt and pepper drops summertime. I currently have only two clips, while Dave has like thirty. So I have a lot of work to do. You Are you gonna skate the salt and pepper? More importantly, shoot. Is that yeah. salt? Shoot, shoot, shoot bad. Shoot. Shoot better. Better. Like we got to pick a song. Yeah. There's more. He, he wants like a country well, what song. A man, what, what a man, man, what a man, what a man. We went to his house and did a podcast <laughs> for Dave. If yeah. you check it out on iTunes. Yeah, I saw the, I yeah. Saw the fly. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. Dave, Dave was took fun. us out to the 99 after. He did. He loves he 99. Did. Classic, classic yeah. guy. Classic yeah. guy. A beer, a cigarette, and a, yeah. and a, just yeah. a burger with just ketchup. The back of his the door. The back of his door is covered in Marlboro. Actually, right now, he's been coughing up a lot of blood, so... 
As many people think cigarettes are cool, they they're suck, actually dude. bad for your health. So and more than Stop. the health reason to me, the money. Don't yeah. waste your money. Such yeah. a I've, been trying, I've been trying to kick Trap. Dave. You know, Dave quit smoking cigarettes for a while. Like uh, he made it two weeks. I think he told us that. And then Matt Fennell and somebody else would walk in the room and just blow smoke in his face because he has very good friends. So good yeah. job, Matt. Classic. Now you have uh, Dave coughing up blood. Nah, good job, buddy. Dave, it's not all their fault. Dave put a lot on it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a choice. It's a hard, it's a hard shoe to follow when you want to be the Marlboro man. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I don't smoke cigarettes only because of the money aspect. It's the biggest trap ever. You make some other dude, some fucking fat white rich dude you're making him richer he's buying he's always seven white. car he's yeah. always white he's Tell always me he's white not stupid he is he is he's always white it sucks <laughs> don't help him out the shithead rich man is always white the Trust worst me. dudes look don't him up play him. look or, him up or Persian you'll never get ahead too so many people are like I have dreams I want to do this but I have no money and then you look at him like coffee white cigarettes man. all these day to day things that's four or five bucks and then bam 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 it's like yeah you don't have any money to do what you want because you have no discipline and you're spending it on these little things that you don't really need you just want yeah, that's I'm why a, all I'm I need dude, is what it I'm is I'm an idiot I lived in New York I started smoking while I was in New York oh yeah twelve dollars a pack yes yeah, basically eleven sixty eleven seventy whatever it's fucking horrible. Yeah, and then when you have a cigarette, you have a beer, that's another like three. There you bucks. go. So I like there people that I meet and they have goals and they, they are focused and they have discipline and they chase after that shit and they don't let little shit get in their way. They figure it out, you know? Yeah. It's hard lessons. Cigarettes is harsh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm done smoking cigarettes. I've been done for a while. <laughs> <laughs> How's the alcoholism going? Pretty good? It's going great, dude. <laughs> going great. Tampa M, shout out to PBR. Free we're, in, we're in Tampa, Tampa Pro. Pro. Tampa Pro. <laughs> Tampa Pro. Oh, you don't even good. know where he is. See, don't be like Ramsey kids. Don't be like Seriously, Ramsey. don't be like me. Get the beard, but don't be like him. The only reason I'm here, I'm very lucky, met, dude. Have you guys ever uh, met Kurt? Kurt. He's from Philly. He has Kurt one David? finger. No. no. He has one, one finger. finger. No. Nah. He has one finger. He from blasted, cigarettes? No, Which blasted, one? From explosives. He blasted Damn, his whole hand sick. out. Which finger yeah, has he got? They call him one finger. But Which finger has he got? Skate? I gotta Index? shout him out. He's really good. Hell yeah. Yeah, and he does uh, that Black Diamond Skate Park and Skate Shop. Oh, tight. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah he does all that. What up, Kurt? Good. Yeah, Kurt, I shot you out. Hell yeah. A boy right there. Take an Instagram photo of your finger and tag me in it. Which one? Yeah, I want to see it. Index finger he got? Yeah, he has. So he's good yeah. with the ladies. He just <laughs> That'd be cool. He tells, yeah, he tells just me the middle finger. Yeah, stories. But if you ever it's skate with G-spot. him, if, <laughs> if, you, if, you ever, if you ever skate with him, he will, because it's the thing he does, he'll walk over and just go like this with his finger on your grip and smack it. It's good luck. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but it looks yeah. like a dick is on your grip. Uh, <laughs> 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 you're like really now, we're like, hey, Kurt, you're a weirdo. I'm going to use the bathroom. Tag your finger, man, and, and Instagram me, man. I want to see that. All right, right, we got back. more questions. Get out of here. That's a pisser, huh? Yeah, Get out of here, Ramsey. Bring us down anyways. Sorry, man. Um, JC Skate 97 said, how did you come up with uh, MSA f- uh, for your logo? Uh, well, it all started with uh, when I wrote for Think. They needed a kind of a blog on the oh, site. And right. they, yeah, yeah, they were like trying to get something going, and it really wasn't working on the site, so we thought of like a, like a outside blog that still was connected to the brand. And uh, I'm like, you know, I told Tony Vitello, who owned Think at the time, and uh, I was like, yo, get, you know, uh, you give me a blog. I, you know, I'm, I've been on the road 300 days of the 365 last year. Like, I blog whatever you, you like, got whatever content. I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I got stuff to post. Like I'm skating with all these people. I'm hanging out, like this and that. And he's like, oh, that's a good idea. And at the time, it would City and Think was the same umbrella, it was the same owner, you know. So he owned yeah. both. And City slogan, their slogan was City Slays All, which no one remembers. But that's what they ran for a while. And then I get this email like, yo, we got it. Check it out. It's pretty much done. And then I get the email and it's like, I I like see the link. And it's like, Manny Slays All. And I click it and it's just Manny Slays All. And I'm like, no. Oh, you were bummed? Because I don't want people to think I'm being cocky or like I'm, I'm... Whatever, so I explained that to him, and he's like, no, man, it's not like that. It's like, you stay all, like, you're blogging, you're here, you're at the contest, you're in the street, you're, you're doing this, and you're doing that, and, like, you slay all, who cares what anybody thinks? And I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right, so I ran with it, and then I started making the uh, Manny Stays All stickers, and then I felt bad, like, having the homies put a sticker that was 10 inches long on their board, because Manny Slays All is so Covering long. All up, yeah. yeah, so then I was like, man, I gotta change it. Acronym so time. I did Manny Slays 
Oh, so it doesn't, it, it doesn't stand for Manny Santiago. It stands for Manny M Slays S All A. Yeah, just the like, acronym. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it works. Same like with all A, I need. Yeah, Shorten it yeah. up. A I N. Yeah, so it works. It's so good, that's man. where MSA came from, and then obviously it's a uh, Red Sox influenced. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know Eastern colonial font. Yeah, it's good. Now, that's, it's that's funny because a lot of like people don't realize that, and they're like, you'll have like Yankee fans, like skaters, and they'll put the sticker on their board on inside. I'm laughing. Yeah, because I'm like, yeah, you hit the oh, song. Yeah. You got the logo <laughs> on your board, brother. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's good. Good shit. Right. Now, but I got a lot. That's of the East Coast right yeah. there coming out. <laughs> I got a lot of I got a lot of projects coming out. I have an MSA wall, uh, wallet skate tool coming out. Oh, sick. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a little pocket wallet that holds a skate tool in the back, and it's kind of nice, black on black. And I have a bunch of these. Uh, five panel it's coming out they're only limited like I think it's like 10 a piece and I got the material while I was in Tahiti on this trip you told so me I went that, and bought yeah. this material and now they're, they're getting made and just the brim is going to be the material and it's going to be all black with the red label oh, that's so it's super limited and then uh, everything's limited you know I got a hats wallet and then it's good that way too because nothing gets stale you can always yeah, have new con yeah. new shit coming and I want, out I want it to like mean something you know like, like these I made these skate life MSA hats and I only made 10 of each and then I gave, you know, one to the homie. So I had seven of each. So realistically, whoever got an MSA Skate Life hat only got one of seven. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, and they're nowadays, not, and I'm not, and I'm, yeah, yeah. not going to make those colors ever again. So that's it. I yeah. even got, just to prove it, I got the Skate Life tattoo. Oh, yeah, right Tampa, here. right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Instagram. Yeah, Skate Life. Fuck yeah, dude. Hashtag yeah. Skate Life. Yeah, hashtag I got, Skate Life. Yeah. I got Tampa M. I got fucking Skate and Destroy, bro. Bang bang! Oh, I thought you thought you were talking about Tampa and oh, no. Tampa Pro. He, no, 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 no,
believe in what I believe in that I stamp these kids as they're good kids oh, and yeah. they're and that's it's, the goal behind it. It's true. Know? It's because too, like I know you feel the same way. Like I feel blessed that I've been able to go where I have been yeah. to meet the people I have, to meet my heroes, my idols, people I look up to, seen places I never thought I would be, and to be able to give that back to someone else or at least allow it. like because it's hard. Like you, how many when you talk to a pro skateboarder, you might be able to talk about that and you relate. You yeah. go home and you're telling these people about all the yeah. cool shit, and it's yeah, like they don't understand because they're yeah. working and. So it'd be rad to like be like, oh, you shred too, like just as hard as me, and you got commitment. Like yeah. here, here's some help. Like yeah. get a little shine, get a feel it, yeah. figure it out. You know what I mean? Like one thing that always bugs me about it, like a lot of people don't understand, is like a lot of people are like, which we are, you know, and they're like, you know, you're so lucky to be doing what you're doing, and like not even skaters, and like I can't believe it, and it's like. You should, well, you can't believe it because you don't understand how much work I've put into being yeah. where I am today and all the work, all the all the denials I got and all the people not believing in me. And it's like, yeah, we are very blessed to be where we are, but we also here cause we, because we work so hard where, in our craft that that's why we are here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dude, that's, why we, that's how we got here and that's how we're going to yeah. try and maintain here. A lot yeah. of people don't understand. A lot of people tell me all the time, you're so lucky, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude. My ride could be over next year. You see how the industry is right yeah. now? Like, I'll be working with you so at the okay. gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I finished high school. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I learned a lot of... Ch I learned, like, marketing, and I learned uh, Illustrator, a lot of programs, and brand... Like, I could, you know, I learned a lot of trades along the way, but realistically, yeah. like, I, I, if, if shit comes to it, I got bills to pay, and yeah. I might be working... Yeah. Just where you're Stand at. Up. I may be asking that dude bitching at me, saying I'm too lucky if he can give me a job. Yeah. So like they don't understand like the risk you take when yeah, you want to be a pro skateboarder. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was, I was you kidding Dave, me? Yeah, I was on Dave's. I lived on Dave's couch for four years Fuck with yeah. no job. Yeah, you know, and that's why Fuck I always yeah, I have Dave. That's type and of I always Dave remind too. him. Yeah, yeah. I, I no, Dave's so a cool much. Dude, if it wasn't for Dave, I, and I tell everyone, I'm not scared to tell anybody anything. I'm like, yeah, if it wasn't for Dave, if it wasn't for Felix, if it wasn't for my friend Bagel in Florida, if it wasn't for Brad Cromer and all his friends in Florida, like I wouldn't be here today. Yeah, I worked really hard, but I didn't do it on my own. You yeah, know? Like, everyone needs help. You know, what I'm what you know and A lot of people are, are scared to tell people that, like, yeah, like they forget who helped them. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I, I I'm thankful for, to everyone that. To help me get to where I'm at today, you know. That's saying? awesome that you realize that. You yeah, realize, yeah no, you know sure. what I mean. Some people are just like, oh, I'm here, yeah, whatever, blah blah nah. blah. Like no, nah, you, you, you. Like I always made a goal that I knew I, I was gonna make it in skateboarding no matter what. Like whether it was as a working in a warehouse, yeah. I was gonna do it no matter what. Yeah. Like I was gonna be in skating. I love skating so much. I knew I was gonna be a part of it no matter what. Yeah. And that was my motivation to, to just keep on going. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. Like I even said when I when I quit thing to ride for ammo and it was just an idea. I even told Felix like if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have got to experience the best experiences of my life. And I I've done so much because of you that if this wasn't to work, it doesn't even matter. Like yeah. you you showed me the world and I'm willing to take the biggest risk to to make your dreams come true because we could do this together as a team. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like if you stick with your friends, he's always taught me that. If you stick with your friends. To, no matter what you're thick and thin and you work really hard you will be successful fuck yeah dude uh, yeah. Because I, hell yeah I fully full heartedly agree I fully yeah. agree yeah. I'm, I'm I'm a shit bag nothing <laughs> from Massachusetts Ramsey's dude. hard on himself no I'm saying <laughs> no, 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 for real for real for real I've, I've done nothing I've worked in restaurants my whole life I Shake just, Shack baby Shake Shack whatever Bobby Flay <laughs> you going to Burger Challenge it don't, don't, it don't mean shit <laughs> Like that shit ain't flying me to Tampa. It ain't doing nothing. Like this dude over here, I'm not. I'm not trying to fucking shine his balls or nothing. He can, he can, he can kiss my ass if if it's if, if it's do or whatever. But fuck him. I'm just saying, if it's not for him, dude, I, World Industries got me team chef and shit, dude. No one knows who I am. I just skated in the fucking industry contest, dude. No one knows who the fuck I am, dude. Just because this kid, just from knowing him back in the day when I was like 14 years old, skate shop just. Yeah. Just staying true, you know what I mean? Just skating and fucking just like supporting your friends. Yeah, exactly. You bring, you trust me, you bring something to the table. Otherwise. Yeah, but I mean, I don't like, keep people around there. No, 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 but like, like he trust was me. saying, like you gotta just, you gotta just be real, and yeah, yeah. that's what it's all about. It's just like fucking that's staying shit. true. Ram yeah. Ramsey's currency is, is in funniness and genuine. Yeah, 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 yeah. dude, I, I got your personal, your personal. This shirt. I, all I need shirt never even washed it dude. I had it for like a month yeah, boy, <laughs> it smells like you, you must keep it crisp no, exactly dude I'm gonna have you fucking nude if I, if I shrink it it's gonna fit different so I keep that shit loose you know what I'm saying keep it loose yeah <laughs> like I'm, the lager keep it loose yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Hey.
Hey. All right. All right. That was good. I appreciate that. Thank you. We're going to move on. I'm hard on Ramsey. Hard on that motherfucker. <laughs> All right. 